paintings are very well known and well loved, especially here in Sheffield, Joe. Could you describe them for someone who hasn't seen them before? If you listen on the wireless, or, or indeed on TV, to a good musical like, it's big, it's brash, it's in your face, it's slightly off colour sometimes with the language. Mine is very much the same. The colour is the overture. And as you know, a, uh, an overture is a, a musical device that says, shut up, sit down, I am about to begin. Now, oddly enough, these overtures are the ones that last long after the opera has been forgotten or the, the symphony or whatever. I do that with colour, impact first, and they are the basic six colours of the rainbow, plus titanium white. There is no black in my work at all. To use black... You have to be a genius. And I didn't say that. Renoir said that. I work basically with a cast of characters that is roughly about four inches tall. So the head is basically a bucket. It's a bucket shape. That's all. Only the ladies have hair. Men either have no hair at all or a flat cap or a hat. And they are usually direction pointers to show which way the head is moving. Ladies' hair is in all sorts of shapes. Up, down, bangs, whatever. They're far more interesting. And they wear better clothes than men. More colourful clothes than men. So you stuff your activity with these people. Because what they're doing is going about their lawful occasions. Now, I heard that in court. I was in court one day and this Bobby got up, opened his notebook and said, Me lord... I was going about my lawful occasions and I never heard another thing. I have to be honest with you, the fine wasn't particularly heavy either for my misdemeanour. But I came out of court with that. I was going about my lawful occasions and all my people do that. They are about work and its environs. When they're walking in the streets, they are going to work or indeed coming back from work. And it's a passion of mine that work being the religion of the North, as it were. I like the idea of also, when you're at work, you often meet your life partner who works in accounts or somewhere like that, who, who's in delivery or whatever. We've been courting for a year or two now and now we're getting married and getting house together and Gaffer says, you know, he'll put a deposit off. It's all that intricate way of living. Although I didn't have that myself, you know, <laughs> to pay for the darn thing myself. There was that association. I met Audrey while I was a park keeper in Longley Park. I was desperate for some money, as all painters eventually are desperate for some money. So I took a job in Longley Park, £9 a week, in your hand by the way, and she came round a, a bush one day and I saw her and I fell for her just like that. So we, we set up house together and it was great. She was Canadian. She had a good story to tell, which I thought was lovely. Her father lived in Attercliffe, in Whitworth Lane, where the big police station is now. I think they've got about nine kids or something like that. And he was low down the pecking order. So he left, like a lot of people did, worked his passage over to America. And to his chagrin, he finds out there's a recession there. So usual sort of thing. Can you do this? Yeah, I can. Can you do that? Yes, I can. And all that. Gradually worked his way across the states to a place called Billings in Montana where he gets in with a whole load of moonshiners and they are there kicking up for uh, moonshine and down this dusty road come three cars full of revenue officers all armed with Winchesters. The first thing they do is kick the stills over and then start taking names. You know, what's your name? Albert Wazaleski. Oh yeah, me down there. What's your name? Albert Persall. And where are you from? Sheffield. Ah, that'll be Alabama. No, in Yorkshire, to which he then says, oh, bloody hell, an alien, which means paperwork. So he put his hands on his shoulders and he pointed and says, see that star? He says, aye. He says, I want you to follow that for three days. He says, why? He says, you'll be in Canada then, and it's not to do with us after that. He did. He took a small holding off the CPR, Canadian Pacific Railway, and uh, slowly but surely turned it into a small farm then sent for his long-term girlfriend to come over. And uh, the thing grew and grew. And uh, they had two children, one called Joe, one called Audrey. And they uh, decided to come back here. And uh, I met Audrey, you know. 
devastatingly attractive. Mind you, I weren't bad looking in those days. Black curly hair. I've seen a photograph of myself at, <laughs> at the show, which I implore you all to go. I look like Kevin Keegan. Honestly, I got a perm. <laughs> oh, what a load of tripe. <laughs>